Hello, Mark. Uh, could you please introduce you? Uh, Mark Ligo, City Councillor, Oxford Lord Mayor. Okay. We are really pleased in Grenoble to, to welcome uh, Oxford, the city of Oxford. Um, could you tell us uh, why for you it's important to work in partnership between cities? Yes, yeah, understanding it's learning from each other um, what works. So when we've looked at our discussions today about energy or we've looked at various uh, network rails, various different transport we can take and, and learn from each other as well. And I think the important thing as well, and see how people does engagements. So when you do an engagement, it's a consultation, it's making sure that you understand it's not just the very middle class, it's making sure that you've got inequalities in that as well, making sure that you, again, making sure that you get out in the communities, you understand the people that you're trying to attract. Yes, okay, thank you very much. And um, um, what is an example? Do you have an example or an initiative that uh, you have seen in the city of Grenoble that is really inspiring for you and that maybe you could replicate to Oxford? I'd like to, I, I'm impressed with the trams. I really am. I, I think I think they work well. It serves a purpose. You know, it's not new, but like places like Grenoble and and, and Bonn uh, in Germany, that you've got very wide roads. In Oxford, we've got 14th-century narrow roads that that were built literally for for horse and cart. Yes. But um, I think I, I'm really impressed in Grenoble with the transport system. Um, it, it works well and. Yeah, so with the infrastructure, you've got the infrastructure, uh, with the wide roads, you've got the pedestrians, the walk, people are walking, you've got, you've got the cyclists, which they can go on, on the pathway on the road, and then you've got you know, the cars, and then the, the, you know, the trams, the buses, and cable cars, and you seem to have got something for everyone, which works well, and you have good initiatives where I would like to see in Oxford, where you've got the yellow bike schemes, and where, for, was it, six, six, yeah, yeah. 60 pounds um, and your employer can pay half and you're allowed to take the bike home. We had a similar scheme in Oxford, a yellow bike, slightly smaller, but you could only use them from different destinations okay, in Oxford, you yes. couldn't take them home. Mm. And we and have both. They, they, didn't, they didn't work yes, as well. Yes. So. Okay, I see. Okay, thank you very much. And um, what are your initiatives or politics that uh, you are implemented, uh, uh, implementing in, uh, in Oxford could, uh, could be an inspiration for Grenoble City? I think we're on the same page. I think very similar. So we're looking at controlled parking zones. So permits in residential areas, which, which stops commuter parking, where, for example, someone park in your street and then go to work 10 miles away or whatever, um, 20 miles an hour zones so we're going to have that across the city mm, we are at 30 um, uh, currently yes <laughs> so we can uh... at, at, at 30 <laughs> yes. um, and then i think what you're doing very well and we're just starting on that is the school streets uh, making sure that actually it's a safe journey we did have one scheme in oxfordshire in kidlington where it's um encouraging primary school children to walk to school yes. and you've got various um themed art on the floor so you'll have hopscotch you'll have games you'll have um, zoo characters so for the child they want to walk to school engage with their parents because they can they can see all the interaction as well exactly so. but i'm sure that Ox also in oxford even if we are on the same page i have the I, what i see of oxford the, Im the, the image that i have of, 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 of oxford is that it's a very inclusive city for example so I'm sure that we, we, we could learn a lot also from... Uh, I think we're a very diverse yes. city and we need to make sure, I think that, like I said earlier, that any engagement we do, yes. we make sure we get out into the community. Exactly. Because some people don't engage. Yes, by themselves. So, so, so we need to go to them, making sure that we do road shows, we do workshops, Perfect, and make sure yes. it's inclusive for everyone. Yes. So we talk about equality, yes. inclusiveness, mm. and making sure that we don't leave anybody out because it listen yes. to everybody's views as well so perfect and uh, on um, what kind of project or which project could we work together in the future or do you think a project that we could work or do you have a do would you like to work uh, with us with a project do you have in mind something already or maybe uh, 
I think there's always room for you know partnership and and, and, and improvement as well. And, and I guess it's looking at some of the data as well. So, so from this conference and, and, and beforehand, looking at actually, so look at the demographics of things. So, if we're, so what if, for, for me, cycling's important, walking's, you know, important as well. Trying to reduce car journeys. How do we reduce car journeys? But also, get, doing that research together. So, look at what what are the barriers to why people can't walk or people can't cycle. That, that you know, and look at them, and making sure. So it could be affordability, it could be a disability, yeah. it could be cultural change. So looking at the data and the research, and how we can share it together. Because on some aspects, we're very, very sort of similar, except you have wider roads and you can do more. But it's, it's just making sure that like we talked, spoke about before, inclusivity as well, and just yeah, sharing data together. Okay. So thank you very much, no Matt. Thank you for being here.